Hey, everybody, this is Andy from Data Driven, and uh, Data Driven is a podcast where we talk about AI and machine learning, data science, and everything related to that. And I'm coming to you today from the Definity Conference, which is in Auckland, New Zealand. Yep, I'm on the other side of the world, for me. And here with me is Manahar uh, Puna, and Manahar is uh, not only here at the Definity Conference, um, tell us first why you're here at the Definity Conference. Hi, I'm Manahar Puna. Uh, I know Andy for a long time. Uh, uh, so when I started in the community, uh, Andy was one of the guys who supported and uh, encouraged when I was blogging. Uh, I'm a definitely speaking on Power Apps. Uh, I'm a data guy, but I'm speaking more on data best practices when working with Power Apps and Power Automate. Nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I didn't realize they renamed Flow. Oh, yeah. So Okay, so yeah. I'm not keeping up. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about that. What, what can you do with Power Automate? So Power Automate is a tool um, or service uh, it's a product yeah. uh, from Microsoft, but what it does is appeals to the persona in the business to okay. automate their uh, business tasks or okay. business processes, uh, and it integrates well with other tools in the Power Platform like Power BI or Power, Power Apps, and there's okay. new thing called Power Virtual Agents, which has been GA'd last week. Okay. Uh, there was some interesting demo this morning. Okay. It's definitely keynote by Chuck, <laughs> Chuck from Microsoft. Yeah. Uh, so I think this um, product uh, appeals, as I've said, like to the person and the business, and has been great adoption so right. far. So you know this to me. This is, and I'm just on the outside looking in on this. This sounds a lot like. Um, the promise we've heard forever about self-service BI, where you get the power analyst or the business person, and you give them the power to create uh, tools like this, some, some of their own automation of moving their data around, querying their data, shaping it, uh, so that it's ready for, uh, for business reporting. How accurate is that? Am I right? Or my way so, yeah, the Tell me where I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so Microsoft way of selling you know, um, self-service BI, Right. Um, it's been close to that with Power BI because um, it provides an opportunity for data professionals to do their job and then give the data set to the business users to build their own reports. Okay. Um, with Power Apps and Power Automate, what happens is business users are best deciders of you know how the data and how the process flows, especially in terms of like um, you know, there is an approval process, who has to be on the approval board, okay. and what emails needs to be sent. And if you explain this to an IT engineer and he starts building the app, it takes ages and you know, a lot of documentation and sure. understanding and exchange between the teams to build those kind of apps. Okay. Um, but now the power is given to the business users where they can drag and drop okay. the things and start creating their their own process that automates all this upload tasks and those kind of things. Okay, so you know the engineer in me is just going nuts, right? I'm thinking, <laughs> what if? You know, I'm thinking of all the things that could go wrong. Um, but I am curious, um, you know, how does this scale? Does how does it find its way into enterprise IT, or does it? Um, so it. There is still some job for the IT here. Sure. Uh, in terms of securing the environments, like who has the access to build that and who actually um, has access to read the SharePoint list and okay. who is actually filling the forms. Okay. Uh, you can buy your own licenses with Power Platform. Okay. Uh, but at the same time, if you are controlling security with licenses, that's not the right way of doing it. So, right. Okay, that was going to be my next question. Yeah. yeah, I was like, security. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important. So, do not manage your security with licensing. <laughs> okay. So you heard it here from, from Manahar. Manahar, I know you're involved with another um, large uh, Asia-based uh, uh, conference. Uh, let's talk about that some. Let everybody know what that conference is and where and when. All right. So I am. Uh, I head a community called Data Platform Geeks, which has got more than two fifty thousand members now. Wow. Uh, so I head that as vice president, and along uh, with Amit Bansal, who heads it, who is the founder and uh, runs it. So we run a conference in India. It used to be August every year for the last five years. So this year we are um, struggling to fit it in August because of the festivals uh, in that month. Sure. So, but it's going to be the dates are going to be announced soon. Okay. So it's around that time frame, August, September, October time frame okay. this year. 
uh, and it's one of the largest conferences in the Asia Pacific region where we have uh, corporate vice president from Microsoft giving keynote uh, every year and then uh, we have more than 1000 attendees and uh, huge representation from Microsoft corporate and that's the largest um, I think uh, gathering of what do you say product team speakers yes out of Redmond okay at a place where you know most of the IT support clips. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. So this is Data Platform Summit. Yeah. And there's a website. Yeah, it's DPS10. It's DPS10. DPS10.com. DPS10. DPS10.com. Very cool, Manaha. Thank you so much for uh, for being on our show and uh, doing a data point with us. I'm looking forward to learning a bunch more here at Defendity. I'm sure you are, and uh, we'll hope to catch up with you again soon. Awesome. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to meet you. Same here.